Imagine a floating city at sea, home to 5,000 sailors braving the elements and patrolling the huge oceans aboard an aircraft carrier. These mighty warships are popular for their impressive firepower, advanced technology, and ability to launch fighter jets. But have you ever wondered what happens when nature calls for these thousands of sailors every single day? That's right, we're talking about the unavoidable topic that affects us all, uh, poop. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of waste management on aircraft carriers and uncover the secrets of what happens when 5,000 U.S. Navy sailors poop every day on aircraft carriers. Imagine you're on a colossal floating fortress, teeming with sailors fulfilling their duties in high-pressure environments. With limited space and resources, ensuring the smooth flow of everyday life, including bodily functions, can be quite a challenge. Now, what if we told you that aircraft carriers are equipped to handle the shocking amount of waste produced by their crew? It's a true proof of human ingenuity and the lengths we go to maintain cleanliness, even in the most demanding of circumstances. But how does an aircraft carrier, essentially a self-contained city at sea, manage to handle the waste produced by 5,000 sailors on a daily basis? Let's start with the basics, toilets. On an aircraft carrier, toilets are known as heads. These heads, critically distributed throughout the ship, are efficient and compact, allowing sailors to answer nature's call swiftly. But what happens after that fateful flush? Down in the bowels of the ship, deep in the labyrinth of pipes and machinery, lies the heart of the waste management system. Here, the ship's crew tackles the task of processing thousands of gallons of sewage every day. When it comes to handling the daily deluge of waste on aircraft carriers, a key step in the process is grinding. To ensure smooth flow and prevent clogs, the solid waste goes through powerful grinders, transforming it into smaller particles. This shredded waste, sometimes mixed with water, then embarks on a journey through a vast network of pipes, navigating the inner workings of the ship. Along the way, it steadily progresses towards its ultimate destination, a testament to the efficient and ingenious system in place to manage the waste produced by 5,000 sailors each day. Ever heard of the term sea legs? Well, on an aircraft carrier, it's more like sea guts. As the ship moves through the ocean, swaying and rolling with the waves, so do its internal systems. The sewage pipes on board are designed with curves and bends to counteract the ship's motion, ensuring that gravity helps move waste in the right direction. As the waste makes its way through the pipes, it eventually reaches a vital chamber known as the sewage treatment plant. Here, advanced technologies come into play to purify the waste and minimize its impact on the environment. The treatment process involves filtration, separation, and chemical treatment to remove impurities and reduce the organic load. Now you might be wondering what happens to all that treated waste. Well, remember those fighter jets taking off and landing on the carrier's deck? Believe it or not, the final destination for the purified wastewater is the ocean itself. But don't worry, before it's released, the water undergoes thorough testing to ensure compliance with environmental standards. So, the next time you wonder about the immense power and capabilities of an aircraft carrier, spare a thought for the unsung heroes working tirelessly to handle the waste produced by thousands of sailors every day. From the heads to the treatment plant, a well-oiled system ensures that even in the most challenging of environments, cleanliness and functionality prevail. Now, if they can handle the poop of 5,000 sailors, what other incredible feats can these floating cities accomplish?